Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mavis here with you and we're on the Grown Fox server today. And I've got some plans for us today, but I don't think that I have shown off the house since I've been working in here. So it's time to do that first. Um, while we're here, I've been thinking about it. I want to change this, I think, and I'll show you guys what I mean when we go upstairs. Um, so we'll, maybe we'll do that today. It kind of requires dismantling some things, which I don't know if I'm up for at the moment. I actually do have something planned for us today. Um, uh, we had a monthly meeting for December and I had volunteered to um, build a Christmas tree at Spawn, but I guess I waited too long and somebody has already started building one there. So I've actually spent a couple days uh, in creative, well, a couple hours in creative um, over the weekend trying to figure out how I want to build um, a Christmas tree. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm, we're going to build it here at the house instead of the spawn. So um, the spot I have picked out is right over there where that piece of cobble is. So we'll get to that here in just a second. Um, I want to show off the house. Um, I kind of redid the front here a little bit because there was a strip of brown clay going across the top like the rest of the house um, here on this level and I thought it would be look nicer to break it up and make it all the wood here so uh, then you come in the front door and we've got the living room here I don't think I've shown this off um, I know Mukaki has in his videos but I don't I don't think I've shown this off yet uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out I think it looks really nice uh, most people, when they come over and see it, they make a comment about the sand here because it's kind of strange, but I like it. I think it adds a little bit of texture to what I'm going for here in this area. Just kind of a ruggish looking rug thing. <laughs> um, and I wanted to do something a little different here. Um, I was trying to sneak in some lighting up on the top floor, um, up in the room above us, so I put some glowstone here, and then there's nothing above those uh, that those blocks there. I actually put um, some iron fencing there and then covered it in carpets up in that room so that it allows light to come through. Uh, so that works. Uh, actually, Josh had just showed me um, at my flower shop a little technique with pistons. I guess if you put pistons on top of glowstone, it allows light to pass through it. So I might try that, but the iron bars are working at the moment, so we might just leave it like that. Um, but I like the the pattern of the piston, so we'll I might play with that and see how it is. But um, I didn't want to just leave uh, these half slabs here. I thought it kind of looked like a flower if I just left it like that. So I added these um, nether fencing there, and I think that looks kind of nice. Um, flowers everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this area. I think it looks good. I've got um, some pumpkins back behind these paintings to add some light. I think I do. Uh, maybe not. Maybe on the top. I can't remember. I thought I did. Um, so let's go upstairs. Um, I like this. I was watching somebody, probably B double O. Um, using, yeah, it was B00. Uh, he was using the item frame, had the torch in there, and then put a half slab to kind of make it look like it was holding up the uh, the candle there, or the, yeah, torch, whatever. But I kind of like the fence back there. I think it looks kind of different, and it, it just adds a little bit of something to it. So, yeah, I like that. Um, I had this uh, blocked off just in case Mukaki came on and... Um, I kind of wanted to do the reveal in this room, so I don't think he's actually even said anything. He hasn't said anything to me about it, so I don't think he's seen it. But before it was a giant wall of sand and it had a sign that said under construction, but I've been working on it. So let's tear this down and head in here. Keep my things. Okay, so this is what I've been working on today mostly. Um, added this wall here. Uh, I think it looks kind of nice. I've got some pumpkins there for lighting. Uh, went ahead and did some glowstone. This is where the... I'll just pull up one of these and show you guys. Oh, did I change it out? Oh, okay. Some of them are pumpkins and some of them are the glowstone and the iron fence. So 
covered up with some rugs and it looks good or some carpets and it looks good um, I really like that painting there it kind of goes with the color scheme of the room and then so does that one a little bit it's got some oranges and things in it so it looks good over here I had this big giant space that I needed to do something with so I thought hey I bet Mukaki would like a pool table I mean I like to play pool too but pools usually for guys and this is kind of a common area of game room maybe something like that I don't know um, so we got a pool table here I didn't really couldn't really represent the balls anywhere so I decided to do a cue ball here because it's kind of usually under, on the underneath of the table um, sometimes when you go places um, so yeah downstairs that little area up against the window that I wanted to change I think I'm gonna make it like this I think I'm gonna do the stair on the side and then do half slabs here and still have the flowers on top of those um, actually Mukaki did this up here I think um, I know you. Give me the bit. Sorry, you can probably hear me typey, typey, typey. Um, this microphone picks up everything. But yeah, Mukaki put these in. He had done the, the same thing downstairs. Um, the stairs like all the way across. Uh, but I think it kind of looks neat. It actually makes it look like a table if you just have the half slab there. So just got a chest over here of, of things that I was um, using to decorate the room and stuff. Um... Been working on his map like crazy I don't know if I like that that might need to change to brown oh yes I know what I did now okay let's see if there's any brown clay in here there is him and Moj and their maps maybe I should change this too nope Dang it, that's there for a reason. Oh, Poog, now I get to sit here and cycle through paintings for an hour. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's... Oh, there is. Okay, so we're, we're changing this. Um, we're doing this instead. Ooh. Yeah, I think I like that better. Maybe. We'll see. This wall is just giving me so many so many hassles. I haven't decorated in here yet, but that's my next project, I think. But one thing that I realize that's bad about having our dinner guest down there is I can't have a bed in here and sleep in it because there are monsters nearby. So I have to have my bed in here or sleep in Mukakis. So I kind of want my own bed. So I've got it in here, but that kind of flows there throws off the flow of the room. I wanted that to be my bedroom and this not be. I guess I could maybe move um, I'll make a wood donation. <laughs> Next time I'm there. Just for Jevin. Um, yeah. This kind of bugs me a little bit just because there's one block of space here and now there's not here. I'm really, it just makes me twitch. Um, but now this is off a little bit because I had to move, I moved the wall or the door, the opening over. And that also makes me twitch. <laughs> it's not even, uh, but we'll, we'll resist the symmetry. So um, maybe we should drop off some things here in our chest before we go build our Christmas tree. I don't need signs. Oh, I wanted to, to do something in here with this. Let's do, I can't remember how it goes. Nope, not like that. Okay. Excuse me, how do I, how I remember how it goes? Um, need this. Oh, poo. Not there. Ah, poo. Okay, let's try this again. Come on. These things are kind of finicky. There we go. Okie dokie. Let's just go over like this. One more.
That way it'll kind of church up the torches a little bit. If we're going to have to have torches in this room, then let's do them kind of fancy. I don't know if I want them there or if I want to lower them one more. Oh. And then this side is taller, which I might end up changing. I might make this too high like this one, but I could change this side and make it three high like the other one. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, where else we got torches? Let's do that over here too. I just kind of had to put it right in the corner. There we go. Oop. Come on. Oh, you turd. Stop it. Um, there. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Um, we got some over here as well. That painting is going to throw us off, but I think there is a pumpkin behind that side to kind of give it some light. Let's see. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. I need a piece of the clay. Perfect. One piece. That works. Uh, for some reason, I decided to make three stacks of torches, and I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to put... torch here and a torch there and do the painting thing here as well item frame whatever alrighty that works yeah we're gonna need do we need anything here I mean the glowstone is keeping it lit up so I don't know maybe not let's try to hide that a little bit so just need to come back through here um, I could maybe put pumpkins on the walls on this side because this wall is now too thick, which I like doing that. I think that's a clever way to hide lighting and get rid of torches. So then we just need to come in and put some paintings and such in here. Um, so now I'm going to go work on my Christmas tree. So at least it's daytime and we won't die. Um, these... This is pretty much everything I need. Let's put this stuff in here too because we don't need this at the moment. Um, I'm also going to get probably some wool. Oh, I'm looking at my uh, creative world. There's a witch walking by me. Uh, I don't need these. These can stay here. These will come in handy later. My little trick. Okay. So I'm going to get started on this and then I, th I figured you guys probably don't want to see me build the tree. It's kind of boring. So I'll go ahead and build it and then I will come back and we'll decorate it together. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, guys, we've got the finished tree here. Uh, I think it looks pretty good and it's got room for decorations everywhere. So that'll be nice. Um, so let me, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a scaffold around it. That way we can get to it easier. And then, uh, when I get that done, I'll be right back and we'll decorate it. Okay. Hopefully this will work for us. So I guess I'm going to start at the top of the tree and then we'll work our way down. So here is where, and I the top off my tree in creative so I hope I'm gonna do this right I think it, this is right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put lamps here kind of like the angel at the top of the tree okay so we've got a dispenser and we've got it pointing into this block and then what we're gonna do is we're going to place um, pressure plates, wooden ones on top of these blocks. And then we're going to put a button on that one. I don't think I'll have enough arrows to do this because I have an infinity bow on me. And I'm not quite sure if it has to be an infinity bow or if it can be any bow, but there's some kind of a glitch right now with arrows where they don't ever despawn pretty much. So if we shoot, okay, cool that. I forgot that that lights up that'll power three of them we'll just have to do it once on the other side so once more so we'll take this so those hmm I'm I hope 
that that arrow keeps these other blocks um, powered, but we may have to come back and do a little bit of surgery on this and actually put an arrow in each block. So, okay, which one is not powered? Oh, are they all powered? No way, really? Okay, well, that works. Don't need this anymore then. We need to do this randomly around the tree, but it's kind of hard to see exactly where it should be when it's not creative. Um, so let's put one here. Let's do that. Pressure plate, arrow. There we go. So you can see the arrow right here, but you can't take it back. And hopefully it won't ever despawn. Did I get my button back? I did. Okay. I don't know where I want this one. Maybe here. So let's do some finagling here. We'll do that. Hmm. No falling. Okay. That works. Into the block, button, an axe, an arrow. There we go. Okie dokie. I really wish they'd make some other kinds of lights. Um, I was actually discussing it with my husband the other day, uh, Minecraft stuff, and we had just put our Christmas lights up and he was like, can you put Christmas lights in Minecraft? I was like, no. I would really want to though. I want Christmas lights on my house. That'd be awesome. Nothing can blow me up. There we go. Arrow. Button. <gasps> oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. If that dude blows up my Christmas tree, I'll be so mad. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go sleep. That about gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I haven't been that scared in a minute. Okay, heart, return to normal beating, please. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna sleep. I'll be right back. I'd be mad if I accidentally broke that. Okay, so we've got lights on the tree. And once we're done and we have the junk out of the way. God, I thought I saw another creeper. Cactus scared me. <laughs> I'm paranoid. I don't want my Christmas tree to get blown up. Oh. Once again, we're going to start at the top. And I've got, looks like... And I'm, it doesn't have to be the same as the tree that I have built in creative, but I would like it to be similar because it was a good design. Let's put that back so we don't fall to our death. And then on the next level, so that probably will be it up here. One here maybe? Yeah, it might be too close to that. Oh, poo. One there, one on the other side. Okay, let's maybe do our, gla our gold block here. Either way, it's going to be kind of close. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it's a good thing I have feather falling. This is harder than it looks. I'm not very good at parkouring and all that jazz. So of course, oops. And apparently not placing, placing blocks either. Um, maybe we could do another color wool here. Um, 
think. Okay, so now here is where I started using <clears throat> glass blocks. Yes. And I wish I could put snow out here, but the snow is not going to work. Not here. Um, I really like the pink glass. And I really like green glass. And then maybe potentially the light blue as well. So let's see. Hopefully I won't murder myself because I was just flying around and creative. Um, let's do pink on a side where there isn't pink. How about here? So we put it, let me look at my creative world, on the outside. And then on the inside, we did something like that. And then a torch to kind of make it look like the glass is lit up. And I'm okay with you being able to see the torch from other places. That doesn't bother me. Um, so then we will do... Let's do a green one here. And I know that's kind of a waste of those leaves, but that's okay. Really? Okay, I was, didn't think I had very many torches on me. I was about to get, be angry. Um, more gold, perhaps? Maybe we'll do gold there. Um, maybe we'll do gold there. And then if we really wanted to, we could come back in with another, say, blue block there. Whoa! <laughs> um, we need another block here. So let's do... There we go. Okay, I don't want to die. I don't want my tree to be blown up. So sun is going down. I'm going to go sleep. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've adjusted the uh, scaffold a little bit. I left that top layer there just so we can power up and kind of take a look at things. But I, um, I don't know. It feels really yellow and really green on this side. So what can we do to change that? Maybe a blue one up on the top. Let's go do that if we can get up there without murdering ourselves. Oh. Ladders. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, I suck at this game. <laughs> okay, let's do a blue one there. That one will kind of block the red one on the other side as well, maybe. That, I think that looks good, yes. This tree has tons of Christmas ornaments, but it's pretty. I like it. Um, let's put her up here. Maybe I should finish that bottom layer first. I'm not gonna jump that. I will lose. There we go. Okay. So, do we want to do more lights? Do I have lights on the bottom of this tree? No. The lights have to be on the upper ones. So let me take a look at this again. I tend to lean back a lot, I think, in Minecraft. I don't mean to do that. Um, let's put a light here. Um, okay. Piece of wood here. A torch. Light. Um, I can't really see the side from up there, so let's go this way. <clears throat> I did gold over there, so... I think I want to put a light up there. I call it a light. It's not really a light, it's just a lit up piece of glass. Uh, what color do we want to do? Let's do... Hmm... 
try cyan and see how that looks. So we're going to put a piece of wood here. Torch. Glass. This tree might have too many decorations on it. Never. <laughs> you guys should see my Christmas tree. Maybe I'll post a picture of it here in the video too. Maybe we'll see. Um... I think I want to do mostly wool around the rest of the tree. So the side is lacking a lot of pink. So let's do pink there. <clears throat> and then this side, what is it lacking? Red. So we'll put red there. And this side, what are you lacking? Green. And this side, what do you need? Um, blue. Okay, I think our Christmas tree is done. Yay! And I'm funny because I was leaning back to look to see what we needed on the tree and I was leaning away from my microphone. <laughs> Oh, this thing is so sensitive. One of these days, I'll get it figured out. It wouldn't be a Mavis video if there weren't audio issues, <laughs> even with a badass microphone. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so let's get all this taken down and take a step back and look at our pretty tree. I wonder what it looks like in Cocky's milk bucket. Um, give me a second to get rid of this stuff and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so we're over here. I think it looks good. It's a little blue, a little green. I can see two green blocks. I can see two blue blocks. I can see two pink ones, but whatever. I mean, unless I'm going to go with a bunch of different colors. Um, but I've got yellow in there and stuff and I don't want to use yellow wool. I think it looks good. Um, one final thing to look at would be to see what it looks like at night when it's all kind of lit up. So night is falling. Give me just a second. I will be right back and we'll check it out. See what it looks like at nighttime. All right, guys, I think it looks good. I like it. It's pretty pretty awesome so yeah let me know what you think about my Christmas tree and I'm gonna have to get my my roommate here at the house something for Christmas I need to think about what I'm gonna give him I don't know <laughs> yeah it looks cool I like it thumbs up yay so anyways I've thrown a lot at you guys <clears throat> When Mavis is creative, she's very creative. <laughs> when she has creative block, she's very creative block. I don't know. I'm just being silly now. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about the house, all the different things I've done in there, and about our Christmas tree. It might be a little bit overkill, but that's how Christmas trees are supposed to be, right? That's how Christmas trees are supposed to be. I'll just keep telling myself that. So, yeah. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Later.